Hi, this is Chad with Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is part two of our pop-up window utility tool video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add this tool to your existing solution, and I'll be using the FileMaker Tasks um, application to demonstrate this. So in FileMaker Tasks, when I add a contact to a group, I get a pop-up um, window. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do to make this work is I'm going to add a new layout. I'll call it 200. Okay. We'll make that um, have a box on it that's 200 by 200. This is what we're going to use on startup in order to figure out how, how wide we need to make things. So now that I've got that done, I'm also going to come back to window management. I'm going to grab my scripts, come back to tasks, and I'll paste my scripts in the end. Okay, and then um, tasks. Just cancel that. Tasks has um, startup script file open already, so I'll go to scripts and find that. There it is, and then at the bottom of this, I just want to um, cause it to run my new script in order to get that sizing for my 200 layout. So I'll go to the bottom, go to new window. Startup stuff. There we are. Now there are a couple changes I need to make real quick here. In the demo file, I was using uh, fields to make everything run, but in uh, this example, I'm not going to have the fields in there because I'm just copying and pasting. So really, what I want to do is I want to hard code this, um, and I think that's probably best anyway because typically in, in a solution, I'm only going to want to you know use one. Um, technique throughout the whole solution just for consistency for a user. So in our example here, um, we'll make this, um, let's just say grow and we'll do it from the center. Okay. And then also I need to make a change on my um, my speed. I had these um, programmed in to look at that field, but we're just going to say, let's see here, we'll comment out the whole thing so I can come back and use that again later, but we'll, we'll use it at normal at speed of 30, save that, get out of that, okay, let's come back to our groups layout. And then the last thing I need to do is make some modifications to this script. So I'm going to use debugger to make sure I go into the right script. And let's go ahead and run this all the way through to the pause, because that way I get the layout too. Okay, so let's open the script, stop the script. I'm going to go in the script here now and find the new window stuff. There it is right there. I'm going to call my new script. the new window script which is right here and I need to give the the new window script the layout and the position that I want to use the layout I can see right here is group members manager so I'll come in here and I'll uh, type that I'm going to try to make this small enough so I can see that type it go to layout there it is group members manager I can see it well enough group members manager. Okay, and the position that I want to use for this stuff is going to be the center of window. Now I'm just using um, a carriage return delimited parameter structure here because that allows me to copy and paste it around like this um, instead of using some sort of a custom function or something which would add another piece to add to the, the file. So Right now I've got the layout in, I've got the position. I can optionally add the window name and we're going to have to hide the status area. I can see here that in their new window step they are giving it a window name, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that information. I'm just copying that. And then I'll come back and add that as another piece to my puzzle here. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, add one more to zero in, which is going to indicate that I should uh, not show the status area. All right. So now that I've got that in place, I'm not going to need this. I'll disable that. I'm not going to need the freeze window. I'm not going to need the good layout. I'm not going to need this good layout. I won't need the show hide or the adjust. We'll keep the pause. That all looks right to me now. Save it. 
And then I need to go into layout mode here, and we'll just need to add my layout sizer to this layout. And I did that previously. So, but what I would have done if, I, if that wasn't there, we'll just go ahead and delete it out. Is I would highlight, you know, highlight everything, get a size of 654 by 422. I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle on here. 64 by 422. Put it over at 00. zero. And I can see that's not quite all the way to the bottom, so I'll just drag it straight down to the bottom. And then in this case, I could probably go ahead if I didn't want to have a new black window around it. I could come up here and just make that invisible, and then it's not going to matter. Go ahead and give it my name, layout, size, and close that window. Make sure I don't have the bugger on. And then when we add the new contact, it grows from the center. I hope that helped. If you have questions, please send them to me at chad.adams at skeletonkey.com. Thanks a lot.